morning, everyone. Um, and thank you, Cecilia, for that introduction and for the invitation to speak today um, on behalf of the governor, um, the lieutenant governor, and myself, I want to thank you for more than 25 years of service um, you've dedicated to the welfare of New Jersey's children. Uh, you singularly are an incredible advocate and leader, um, and our children have benefited greatly from your work. So thank you, Cecilia. Uh, although I wish we could obviously be together in person, um, I am relieved to see this event continue despite the obstacles. Uh, the Pritzker Children's Initiative has been deeply important and necessary in improving the welfare of our nation's children. And I am thrilled that my office has joined the Advocates for Children of New Jersey's leadership team in their work to strengthen and streamline uh, our system of early care and education. The plan that the Pritzker leadership team has developed identifies five goals to ensure that 27,000 more young children in New Jersey are able to access high quality services by 2023, including childcare, home visiting programs, infant mental health services, and maternal and infant health services. Through Nurture New Jersey, my initiative to fix the maternal and infant health crisis in New Jersey, I know that these are not one-off issues, but in fact are deeply and inextricably interlocked. To address any one of these problems, we really must address them all. Uh, over the last two and a half years, many of you have heard me share disturbing and heartbreaking statistics regarding New Jersey's maternal and infant health crisis again and again at conferences, intergovernmental meetings, private sector meetings, houses of worship, community centers, in op-eds, and social media posts. Our efforts to raise the alarm on this issue have been relentless and necessary. According to America's Health Rankings, New Jersey ranks 47th in the nation for maternal deaths. Uh, as Cecilia just commented, and for women and babies of color, the statistics are even more dire. A black woman in New Jersey is nearly five times more likely than a white woman to die from pregnancy-related complications. And a black baby is three times more likely than a white baby to die before his or her first birthday. It is impossible to live with the knowledge of these statistics and not be deeply affected by them. But I am proud to say that we have worked hard to turn our heartbreak into action. When I began this effort on day one of Phil's administration, we worked to implement short and medium term policy initiatives to immediately get our state on track. Through Nurture New Jersey, we held family festivals in six of our hotspot cities. This basically means that instead of waiting for families to reach out to us for help, we brought our resources directly to them, including local child care programs, home visiting programs, and infant mental health services. In Patterson, Newark, Atlantic City, Camden, Trenton, and Jersey City, we gathered together nearly 600 state, county, and local resources and served nearly 6,000 New Jersey families. I am incredibly proud of the level of outreach we have been able to achieve through Nurture New Jersey and our family festival events, but it is quickly becoming obvious that this was only triage. As we dug deeper and expanded our field of vision to include 18 government agencies, traveled the state and spoke to hospital systems, providers, foundations, advocates, and most importantly, mothers, we began to realize how much more complicated and entangled this problem truly is. Increasing access to resources is just not enough. The kind of change that the mothers and babies of our state require demands a multi-pronged, measurable, holistic, and innovative strategy for success. So we began to think bigger. In October of last year, I gathered 160 stakeholders from across different sectors of the state at our second annual Black Maternal and Infant Health Leadership Summit to identify short, medium, and long-term solutions to this crisis. And we have also made meaningful legislative process, process, progress <laughs> in the last two years. Um, my husband, in partnership with the legislature, has signed 24 pieces of legislation relating to maternal and infant health, including ending Medicaid reimbursement for early elective cesarean sections and providing Medicaid coverage for doula care. We have received millions in federal funding to support our maternal care quality collaborative. 
The collaborative will make us a national leader in collecting, identifying, analyzing, and reviewing data on maternal mortality and morbidity. The governor established a child independent care tax credit, increased the earned income tax credit, expanded paid family leave, and restored funding for family planning services. And as part of New Jersey's commitment to improving access to quality childcare, we invested $23 million to waive childcare co-pays by half. Everything we've learned over the past two and a half years has shown us that the racial disparities within our maternal health crisis can only be solved with a holistic partnered approach. When we are able to better provide support for our families, our mothers and babies are healthier. New Jersey must continue to work at repairing the centuries of embedded institutional discrimination and racism that have led to these disparities. And as we do this, we must simultaneously work on the factors that contribute to the disparity. Access to healthcare, housing, transportation, nutritious food, quality childcare, workforce development, education, and more. And most importantly, we need a long-term solution. This past January on, on Maternal Health Awareness Day, I was thrilled to announce that we are currently working on a statewide strategic plan to reduce our maternal mortality rate by 50% over five years and completely eliminate the racial disparities in birth outcomes. Our expert team of consultants that are developing the plan have had conversations with all 18 departments and agencies that participate in Nurture New Jersey, from the Department of Health to the Department of Children and Families and more to understand the current landscape of our state's maternal and infant health programs. Several of these departments were actually members of your leadership team. And they have been tapping the minds of experts across the state and across sectors, from healthcare to business to community members and service providers, and of course, mothers themselves. From day one, our goal has been to make New Jersey the safest place in the nation to deliver a baby. And now as ACNJ joins us, not just in making New Jersey the safest place in the nation to deliver a baby, but to make it the safest, healthiest, and most supportive place to give birth and raise a family, I feel more hopeful and certain that we will achieve this goal. It's my understanding that New Jersey was not expected to receive this grant. Um, although our maternal and infant health statistics are abhorrent, we have several systems in place that are much stronger than other states. However, Pritzker recognized not only New Jersey's potential, but our determination to improve the lives of families in this state. We have real momentum now because we have real partnerships. So I wanna express my sincere gratitude for ACNJ and the entire community of people committed to this issue. Before I go, I also want to share that, unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 outbreak, New Jersey's shameful health disparities are being exacerbated, and our communities of color are at even greater risk. Please rest assured that we are keeping all of these concerns in mind as we slowly open back up. Every decision is made with the input of expert health professionals and with the intention of saving as many lives as possible. Thank you again for your time this morning and for your partnership to Nurture New Jersey, uh, to all of you taking part today and everyone across the state who have joined the fight to save our mothers and babies. Your commitment is an incredible reason to be hopeful. And together we will make New Jersey not only the safest place in the nation to deliver a baby, we will make it the safest, healthiest and most supportive place to give birth and raise a family. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Mrs. Murphy. Thank you so much for joining us today. But more importantly, thank you for your incredible leadership um, for this issue um, and what you set in place for us to take this one step further. We appreciate your partnership and your leadership. And thank you so much for joining us today.